Hey Taurus, there's a lot going on in September because it is eclipse season. So that means you're going to need to pay special attention to your forecast for September. On the 1st, there is a solar eclipse that happens right in your 5th house. Now, if you have any children, I'm going to tell you that there is a major change happening for one of your children and it could be stressful, but ultimately it is for his or her best interest. It is going to work out, but you're going to have to fight and go through a lot of aggravation in order to get to this new beginning. And I'm sorry to have to tell you that, but that is just the way this eclipse is falling in the sky, not just for you, for everyone else. New beginning, yes. Stressful, yes. Will you get through it? Absolutely. You get through everything. If you don't have children, then this eclipse could be a stressful new beginning in matters of the heart or with a creative project that you're working on. And the same situation applies. Major stress attached to the new beginning, but you will ultimately prevail. On September 9th, Jupiter, the planet of expansion and abundance, will change signs and it moves into your work sector. And oh my gosh, Taurus, for the next year, 13 months actually, you're going to have more work than you can handle. You'll be saying no to assignments. That's right. You'll be turning work down. That's how busy you're going to be. It's also a year where you're going to pay extra attention to your health and it's good because you're going to have an opportunity to receive the best health care. You're going to have major positive outcomes with all health endeavors now that Jupiter is there to support you. The stress is back on the 16th with another eclipse. This time it's a lunar eclipse in your 11th house. So there could be some emotional news from a friend and you might have an issue with a friend that hopefully you can work out, but it could be a really emotional time. Maybe you and this pal realize that you just don't have much in common anymore. You've grown apart. It's also possible that your role in a social group is changing. You might even decide to actually end your affiliation with a group or a group of people or an organization during this eclipse. On September 22nd, though, some good news is back. Mercury will turn direct after having been retrograde since late August. Mercury goes direct in your fifth house. So remember all that stress at the beginning of the month with that eclipse in your fifth house? Now that Mercury is direct, whatever's going on there, you'll finally have clarity and a solid plan of action to execute productively and effectively to make sure that everything turns out in the end. Taurus, now that you know what's going on in September, be sure to watch more astrology videos with me right here at tarot.com.